Hey everyone, so in the previous video we discussed the nested sets model to represent hierarchies. We explained the general idea behind it. And in this video I will explain how we can form the tree from scratch by starting from a root, from a root node. And then we add uh, nodes. And I will show you how the logic behind adding nodes and how we can keep valid left and right values for each node after each insert. And I we will implement that with Postgres and I will be using stored procedures because I think you can easily look at the stored procedure logic and just migrate that to any kind of a framework you do. So I'm, I'm thinking of this like I'm doing it in an agnostic way and you can then port it to your specific framework of RM. So this is the end goal. This is this tree. I explained this tree in the previous video. And I will show you how we can build it from scratch following these rules. And then I will implement these rules in SQL. So the first root node will always have one and two as well as the left and right values. And they are consecutive because it's leaf node as well. And these are the values or these are the rules we will follow. Each time you try to insert a new node, you will update all of the right values of the nodes in the tree where the right is bigger than the parents left by two so we take the parents left it's one and we search the whole tree for right values that are bigger than this value which is one and we increase them by two and if you think about it this also in includes the same node we should now update this by two it should it will be four now the second rule update all of the left values of the nodes in the tree where the left is bigger than the parents uh, also by two I should add this here but here we don't have any left values that are bigger than one so we won't do anything now the new node left value will be the parents left plus one two and the right value will be the parents left plus two which is three okay now let's go, let's go add another node. I will add it. I will add it here. And this actually will give us this, the set, the first node, the first three we discussed in the previous video. Then from that we will continue to this ship. Now this is the parent. We will take its left and go search the whole tree for nodes that their right value is bigger than the current left, which is two. That's four. Should be six. And this should be five because both of them are bigger than two so we we'll increase them by two now we go search the tree for lift values that are bigger than this lift value which is two and we update them by two we don't find anything we only find this value which is smaller now the new node lift value will be the parents lift plus one which is three and the right value will be the parents lift plus two which is four and this is the same tree I will put them next to each other that we have uh, that we built in the previous video or we at least we just added the IDs it was already built but here I'm showing you how we build it from scratch let's continue by this logic we will end up with this tree let's go add another node uh, why I can't I can't add I'll refresh the page Yeah, sorry about that. Okay, now that's the parent. The left value is one. Let's go search the right values of the tree where they are bigger than one and increase them by two. This applies here, also applies here, and also applies here. This should be now six. Now let's go back and search the tree for left values that are bigger than the parent's left, which is one, and increase them by two. This will be four, and this will be five. And now the new node value, the, the new node lift value will be one plus one and the right value will be one plus two, which is three. Okay, let's go add an, a node here. That's the parent node, the lift value is two. Let's go search the three for, value, the, for right values that are bigger than two and increase them by two. This applies to the same node, node. so this would be five. 10, 9, 
eight. Now let's go uh, to that all of the node all of the left node all of the left three values in each node and if they are bigger than two we increase them also by two we only find these two th two nodes uh, six this would be seven now now the new node left value would be two plus one which is three right value two plus two which, which would be four let's go add another node The parent value, the parent's lift value is two. Search the tree for the right values that are bigger than two and increase them by two. So we find this for six. We found also the node itself. Right value would be seven. That's 12, 11, that's 10. Now we'll go back. That's the lift value. Search the the three left values where they are bigger than two and also increase them by two this should be five this should be we won't increase this one because it's one it's less than two uh this should be eight now this should be nine and the new node values two plus one three and the right value two plus two which is four let's go add the final node and yeah, now let's search the right values of the tree where the right is less than the parent's left, which we find. Uh, let's start from here. This should be increased by two. This should be increased by two. The same node should be increased by two. This will also be increased by two. Two. Oops. What was that? It was 11. It would be 13. This would be 12. Now let's go search the lift values where they are less than two where they are bigger than two and we update them we increase them by two so this will be seven this will be five uh, this will be ten and this will be eleven and the new node lift value will be three and four and now we end up with the same tree it's the same values i mean i know here that the order is like this but this does not make any difference in code uh, because if you get the descendants of this of this node you get these three and you can order them with a sql statement however you want like order by the lift value you get this as the first result then this then this uh, or order them by the right value you get uh, this node at the at the beginning so this is how we build these these nested three uh, nested sets trees and I will show you that now in Postgres. Hey, so now I'm, now I'm in Postgres and let's create the table we will work on. And I wrote the code in VS Code, I'll just copy paste it. So I will have a table called nodes, ID auto incremented, name. I won't make it unique because the same name could exist in multiple nodes in different trees. And I have the left and the right values. The way I will distinguish trees because this nodes table will have multiple trees. And the way I will distinguish them is by having this tree ID, which should not be unique because all of the nodes in the same tree will have the same tree ID. This is how you, so every time you try to query a tree, you will have where tree ID equals something. Uh, so yeah. And oh, let's, let's create it. Now the first thing we need to do is to insert the root node. I will be using stored procedures. Uh, not functions i think you can just port this logic to any framework you are using but i think this is the most agnostic way i can do it so it works for everyone because if you know any backend framework you know sql and i mean i mean i think so but that could not be the case for some people um, so insert into nodes where name is the name from the arguments so every time you call this store the procedures you call you do this call and you give it the name that will insert the root node and for generating a unique tree id i will do this i will use this postgres functions should be e easy enough and i'm using procedures not functions because in procedures you can have com transactions so if you have multiple queries here you can put them all in one transaction which is nice if one of them failed the whole thing is aborted in functions you can't do that 
and the other difference is in functions you can have return statements you can return something but here in procedures you can't but the main reason i'm using it using them is because i can have transactions put this here create it let's call it i'll pass my name nice it works let's see the data that's it left and right are two now let's go to the added child store the procedure it, it will have the same value that we described when we created this tree like these four points i'll just convert them to sql so the procedure is called added child i have a parent id that's the unique primary id so i will find that tree root by querying for the parent id and the, i will find the parents left by also querying for with the parent id and the node name that's the new node name that i need to insert the child node name if you have so many columns in each node you just put them here maybe there is a way to accept an array but i will leave that for you to you uh, so i'm declaring two variables parent left and tree id and I need to fetch them the way you do it in one query you say select left and the tree id into these two variables these two uh, from nodes where id equal parent id now we have these two values now let's go update all of the right values in each node where the right is bigger than the parents left and decrease these by two that's it super simple and this update the left value if each for each node where the left is bigger than the parents left also simple now after we updated the right and left values we go insert the new node by doing uh, just a simple insert statement but the left value is equal to the parents left plus one right value is parents left plus two then we commit the whole transaction so transaction so if any one of these failed the whole thing is aborted let's go test it and call add child this will be one and it will be a little more a oops sorry i should use single quotes now this should be one four two three that's nice I will add B. That's also true. Uh, but yeah, that's basically the idea. Every time you need to add a node, you call this, give it the parent ID, give it the information of the child node, and that's it. Uh, then you have your own tree built correctly. I can't build the same tree we built in Figma, but I don't think that will be just a waste of time it works <laughs> you can just test it uh, on your own the next video we will look at deletion then after that i will show you some common cases how you query this and how you can get for example only the leaf nodes from the whole tree um, yeah we will just look at querying this we looked at insertion now deletion then querying and then maybe i will find something else but uh, yeah that's it i hope it was useful bye